What up, my YouTube family? Listen, I miss you guys so much. I am coming today with a quick video for you guys on this beautiful Sunday. Do not mind me. It is Sunday chill day. Yes, I have my wig, my wrap all wrapped up. It's all good. But I wanted to come through today, guys, with a um, quick video. Um, here is the, listen, here is the crazy thing about me. I done made some oxtails and potatoes. I made oxtail stew. But I got the taste for some fried chicken gizzards. And guess what? I'm going to fry those chicken gizzards. So let me show you how easy it is to fry some chicken gizzards. Stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube family, here is the, let me see, turn it this way. Here's the chicken gizzards. Gizzards are like so affordable. Look, this was like $2.98. Listen, and you get a lot in there. So, we about to fry these bad boys up, okay? But before we get to frying these bad boys up... What we're going to do is, of course, clean these bad boys real good. And after I'm done cleaning them, I am going to transfer them to this beautiful buttermilk right here. And I'm not going to season um, anything during these couple of steps because I am going to season my flour to perfection, y'all. So there is no need to season the gizzards or the buttermilk. Because we are going to season our flour so good. Be back on the next step, y'all. What's good, my YouTube fam? Welcome back, y'all. Okay, so what I decided to do, y'all, I had told y'all that I was going to... Um, cook these drinks the same day so what I ended up doing is waiting until the next day because I wanted the gizzards to soak in the buttermilk for 24 hours um so I just fought back my craving I was like I cannot wait to wake up tomorrow to make my gizzards so they have been marinating in this buttermilk for 24 hours and the buttermilk just makes the gizzards like more tender because as you know gizzards are can be kind of tough can be kind of chewy so um, the buttermilk will help break some of that uh, muscle down and make these flavorful. So from this point on, it's really just simple cut and dry. The most important thing is soaking it in the buttermilk for 24 hours if you can. So now what I'm about to do is season this um, buttermilk a little bit. I'm going to season my flour really good. And then we're just going to get it over there to some nice hot grease. Fry these bad boys up for about 10 minutes or so or until golden bread down. And then we're going to throw some hot sauce on it. Period. That's it. So I am going to start seasoning this stuff. I'm going to start with some Larry seasoning salt. I'm going to put a little in there and a little in here. Because remember, we did not season um, our gizzards prior. We just threw them right in the buttermilk. I'm also going to use some, oops, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. I'm also going to use some granulated garlic. And I'm also going to use some coarse black pepper. And I'm seasoning both my buttermilk and my uh, flour because y'all know I'm about that flavor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going back in with my flour with a little bit more um, Larry's seasoning salt. Okie dokie. Excuse me, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is just take this and stir it up. These bad boys are nice and marinated. I'm just going to take my clean hand and give my flour a nice stir before I dip those gizzards in there. Hope everybody is doing spectacular. Hope everybody is good and well out here in the world. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I always say, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hit subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time your girl upload. So now, what we are just doing, simple y'all. Simple, not rocket science. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to take my hands, coat them all up. And you could double dip them if you like them really flaky, crunchy gizzards. I don't think I'm going to do a double dip today. I think we're just going to do one coat. So what I'm about to do, guys, is just finish coating up my gizzards. And then I'm going to take you guys over to the hot grease. And I'm going to show you guys um, how they look while frying. And like I said, you just want to fry them for about, I would say probably for about 10 minutes. Or until your um, gizzards are nice and golden brown. Okay. So I'm going to cut the camera, guys. And I will be back at the stove. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to come back really quick and just show you guys how um, the gizzards look after they're coated in the flour. And this is why I like using buttermilk, too, because I don't know if you can really see it. See how it, see how it leaves like that flakiness? It looks like a flakiness on the uh, gizzards. See, this, is, this means it's going to fry up so good, so crispy. That skin is just going to be nice and flaky. That's why I like soaking it in the buttermilk because it gives it like a little extra crunch. So let's get these over to the grease, y'all. Okay, my YouTube fam, I'm back. So I just tested out my grease. It's nice and hot. I have my grease like on a medium high. So let's get these gizzards in. And listen, gizzards is not for the faint of heart. Like, you really probably have, like, you have to have an acquired taste probably to like these bad boys. But they good to me. I like them. Put some hot sauce on there. Get you a slice of bread. I know my um, grandmother cooks them. She stews them down. Um, she stews them down, makes, like, a gravy. You can serve them over rice. So there's a lot of different ways you can eat gizzards. I prefer... Um, fry them. So. so you just want to make sure that um, you don't overcook these bad boys because listen, if you like your teeth and you don't want to break your teeth off trying to chew these bad boys, make sure you do not overcook them. Because these joints think it's like very, very chewy and hard. So I'm not going to overcrowd my pan. I'm just going to add just about that many. And as you can see, they cook fast. They're turning, turning uh, golden brown already. So, really nice and simple. Like I said, it's a really nice, simple snack. You know, throw some hot sauce on it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, make sure y'all season y'all flour, y'all. Make sure you season your flour and season that butter, milk. I mean, if you want to... Soak your gizzards, take them out, dry them all, season them then, then dip them in the flour. Do you, you know, however you want to do it. But I find like this method makes it so much more flavorful. So I'm just going to let these bad boys fry up and I will be back with the finished results, y'all. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the finished product. Nice golden brown. They are so tender y'all like I kid you not they are so tender they are so flavorful and now it's nothing left to do but to sprinkle on your condiments I'm gonna go with some of this mumbo sauce this sweet hot I love this stuff on fried chicken fried anything for that matter so let's just take some and sprinkle Trying to hold the camera and sprinkle, sprinkle some of that good stuff. And of course, we gotta have some Frank's Red Hot. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, yes. So get you some bread. I like to eat mine with bread, like I told you, or French fries. And you all set. 
as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all so much. Until next time, family, I'm stay safe and stay blessed.